So Kawasaki reached out to me and said, Phoenix, we need you to try out this bike. It's fantastic. You'll love it. So I got my chaps. I got my leathers. I was ready to go. But there's one problem. I think I may have to change my gear. When you toss around words like legendary or iconic and class leading, well, you better be able to back it up. Well, enter the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. Whether it's on the track or on the road, this 600cc Supersport can handle them both with authority. And when you assume the position on the Ninja ZX6R, you will feel like you're a part of this bike. Elbows in, your chest forward, legs extended backward, and your head tilted just enough to maintain aerodynamics. But as sleek as this looks, maintaining this body position for an extended period of time will require engagement of your core and a post-game shoulder workout to avoid any stiffness. So if you want to get technical, let's look at the display unit in front of you. When you assume the position you're looking forward, your head is tilted, this is an area that you're going to see a lot of. When you look at the tachometer, 0 to 4,000, the numbers are all squished in here. Eh. And then when you look at the digital display for your speed, again, it's meh at best. How about something a bit more sexier? That's what would take this over the edge. So here are the specs. With a curb weight of 430 pounds, which is about 195 kilograms, this chain-driven inline four relies on 636 cc's to get the job done. It's equipped with a six-speed liquid-cooled engine. And as for braking, impressive. Consider these are racing brakes and you'll stop when needed. For this model, there are two power controls, full and low. Low mode drops the power to 80%, but for this review, I kept it in full and no issues. Pros. The RPMs top out at a staggering 14,000 before redlining, which turns this Ninja ZX-6R into a legitimate racer. This is an eye-catcher. From colors to decals, the brilliant Kawasaki Green is a standout matched with the racing team lettering, which is a nice touch. And along with the exposed rear wheel and the piercing LED lights, this is a head-turner. But I did find some cons. I found the low-end torque a bit choppy, forcing me to rev higher while shifting to maintain smoothness throughout. Also, where's the cruise control? I know it's a racer, but even after an hour, a little relief from throttle stiffness is much appreciated. And the stock exhaust is bold in chrome design, but the sound, well, it's, it's okay at best. Overall, the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R has one thing that is just overwhelming about this bike. It's the attention to detail, aerodynamics, the braking, the suspension, it has it all. And this is what makes this bike legendary and iconic.